we released a uh, a little video teaser na dun po nakita some of the artists na we already uh, sh- shot for the show. Hello, Rar Nation. I'm Richard Paglikawan and I am joined by the Clash Season 2 runner-up. He has a podcast now. She's not just a pretty face and I believe we've got to see more of her in the near future. Please welcome Taya Asti. Hello, Taya! Hello po! Hi, Sir Richard. And hello po sa lahat ng uh, nanonood sa atin this afternoon. Thank you so much po for having me. Ayan. So, kumusta naman ang buhay ngayon, Taya? Okay naman po. Uh, very happy, very blessed, very grateful. And I am just uh, living my life and ayun, feeling very blessed. Ayun. First, let's talk about being the new host of a new podcast uh, titled uh, Behind the Song. So, what's about this new podcast and paano ka napili dito bilang host? Uh, well, I I'm not entirely sure din po kung ano po yung naging process nung pagpili sa akin but I think uh I, baka po nag-start siya because I started hosting some online events uh for GMA and I, if if I'm not mistaken, I think that's where I kind of got noticed as someone who can kind of host and talk and so ayun, I'm very fortunate enough na they put their trust in me that GMA Network and GMA Artist Center uh, believed in me and my capabilities. And ayun, uh, hopefully I am not disappointing anyone. Hopefully I am doing well. Uh, but yes, behind the song, uh, the, the explanation is in the name. We are featuring a song each for each episode. And we're basically asking the artist, the composer, the song producer, uh, and all everyone else that we can invite to who is a part of creating the song kung ano ba yung kung ano ba yung story behind the song lahat lahat ng process simula sa nung pumasok sa utak nila yung idea na gusto nilang gumawa ng kanta sa recording habang may pandemic hanggang sa pag-release kung ano yung uh, hope, hopes nila for the song and also we also ask some interesting questions like yung mga kung ano yung mga hobbies nila or ginagawa nila during their downtime uh, just to keep it fun as well so that is what behind the song is all about Pero ikaw ba, as a singer and as an artist, why do you think it's essential for people to know the story behind it, Sean? Kasi, syempre, at the end of the day, as, as an artist, you want people to, uh, to appreciate the song. But I think it's also important na, kasi there's so much that goes on. in Because I'm making, I'm making my songs right now. So I know kung gaano kahirap and kung ano yung mga kailangang uh, gawin kung ano yung mga kailangang asikasuhin like you have to think of the album art uh makikipag-usap ka sa producer mo kung hindi ikaw yung magsusulat ng kanta makikipag-usap ka sa composer tapos basta, uh, there's a lot of people who have to come together who have to exchange ideas and so naniniwala ako na kailangan din natin yung ilagay sa spotlight Kailangan din yung makita, marinig ng mga tao para malaman nila kung ano talaga yung, kung, kung ano yung pinagdadaanan ng isang artist, ng, ng lahat ng everyone involved para lang ma-release yung mga songs na pinapakinggan nila. Para hopefully they have more appreciation for, for these songs na they are listening to. Ayun po. Pero ikaw ba, Thea, parang may naalala ka bang song from the past na kinakanta mo and na-shock ka nung nalaman mo na, ah, ito pala yung story nun. Mm. Ay, pwede ka bang i-share? Uh, may kanta si Lady Gaga. It's called Do What You Want. Tapos medyo parang sexy-sexy kasi para uh, uh, parang yan? You can have my heart and you won't use my mind, but do what you want with my body. Do what you want with my body. So parang medyo sexy siya, parang yes. Kaya lang nung na, na 
pinakinggan ko lalo yung song and hinimay ko yung lyrics. Tapos nag-research pa ako. It was her pala saying na dahil sobrang sikat niya, tapos ang dami mga tabloid, daming rumor about her sa social media. So parang sinasabi na niya na you can have my exterior, you can say what you want about my body, but you will never have my heart and you will never have my mind. Parang ganun. So, ang lalim pa pala niya. So, I think doon ako medyo na mas na-appreciate ko yung song when I learned the the true meaning of it when she wrote it. Iba, iba yung um, iba yung para nagustuhan mo lang siya dahil sa Opo. melody niya, dahil yes. sa lyrics. Pero para mas kumakapal yung yung value ng isang mm-hmm. kanta dahil mas alam mo yung pinanggagalingan ng song, di ba? Yes po, true. Eh, tanong ko na lang, nakailang shoot ka na ba sa, uh, for this podcast? And sino-sino yung mga pwede mong i-share dito? At least teasers lang ng mga na-feature mo. Naku, mad- madami-dami na din po. We released a, uh, a little video teaser na dun po nakita some of the artists na we already... Uh, sh- shot for the show. So we have si, uh, Limitless Star, Miss Julie Ann San Jose. We have Mikey Quintos, Bianca Umali. Uh, we also have some K-pop artists. We have B2B. And then we also have mga American-based singers. We have the pop trio band, uh, The Happy Fits. We have MXM Tune. And so much more uh, who are already lined up. Uh, so ang dami ng kailangang abangan. Ang dami pala agad at saka yes, hindi lang po. local ha. Yes, both local and international artists. Pero ikaw ba, may bucket list ka ba ng mga gusto mong interview or talaga ni request mo sa mga sa staff na may interview? Uh, hindi pa po ako nagre-request, pero kung pwede po. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> kung kung uh, if I have the the chance. Uh, sobrang dami ay uh, sig- siguro um First and foremost, I want to hopefully interview mga local artists who sing in their own dialects. Kasi I think, di ba, with Behind the Song, we already have an audience. We have uh, yung mga uh, loyal kapusos na makikinig, mga fans ko. So I, I want to help uplift yung mga iba pa nating local artists who are more in the indie scene and yun, to help them out kasi everyone deserves to be heard everyone's music deserves to be heard and siguro uh, i would also love to have if i'm allowed to dream like olivia rodrigo kasi de ba she has filipino blood so maybe she'll be open to that <laughs> hopefully pwede naman mangara <laughs> At saka si uh, her, si Tuloy. Her. Si her! Si her and si Sawiti. They, they're they also, <laughs> ano, uh, mga Filipinas. We did po- podcast. Ano yung so far mga challenges mo? At ano yung nakikita mong future with this, ano, uh, podcast? Uh, Siguro kasi lahat talaga po ginagawa through Zoom. So may may mga technical difficulties, mga na, namamatay yung camera ko or uh, nagka-crash. May one time nag-crash yung Zoom namin sa kalagitnaan ng interview. Tapos parang, ano nangyari do? <laughs> parang hindi ko ata na-update yung uh, Zoom namin. But uh, and I guess uh, also we always want to try to keep it fresh, keep it light, keep it natural. So we're I'm also trying to to work more towards that. Uh yung nakikita kong future ng podcast. I just hope that we get to keep inviting all types of artists. Syempre mainly OPM because I, we want to keep uplifting our own. Uh but hopefully we also get to keep interviewing nga, international artists, artists who sing in other languages. Para we really see the full diversity of music through the podcast. And hopefully, I also hope that we get to create our own kind of parang group of podcast listeners. Parang ganun. Sana, hopefully, in the future, once the podcast has has uh, been streaming for a little bit. Pero alam mo, te, um, nagigets ko na kung bakit ka kinuha dito kasi napaka-pleasant ng voice mo. Ay, salamat po. <laughs> also, napaka-articulate mo. Yan Thank lang. you po. Thank you so much po. <laughs> And dahil dyan, 
may pa guess who ako sa iyo. Syempre makakapuso stars to. Okay po. And mga parts lang nila yung pakikita ko. Huhulaan mo kung sino sila. Hala, I don't think I'll be very good at this. Nakakasama mo sila kaya for sure mahulaan mo. Kung mahulaan mo. I hope. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, first Nakikita mo. Hindi ko nakikita. Ay, okay. Ha? Huh? Sino yan? Wait. Wait lang. Iniisip ko kung sino ba yung mga nagpo-post ng pag-ganun. Um, sino kaya? Si ano? Parang medyo tan eh. So, feeling ko hindi si Alden. Tama, tama ba? Walang face, right? Tama ba yung nakikita ko? Wala, walang oh, face. Body to? lang. Tom? Tom Rodriguez? Hindi ko alam. <laughs> Or Ruru. Pa si Ruru. O oh, sige, sirit na. Sirit? Hindi <laughs> ko alam. Ay, tama nga yung una kong hula. Kasi akala ko parang, di ba, medyo uh, super puti ni Mr. Alden Richards. So, akala ko hindi siya. Tama pala ako. Okay, I'll trust my gut. <laughs> okay, next. Next, next, next. Hmm. Wait. <laughs> gusto, gusto ko i-ganun niyo yung picture. Parang feeling ko naman may makikita pa ako. Ah, oh, sino yan? Okay, wait. Ang mga hula ko ay... Parang hindi siya si Rian. Maputi eh. Pero parang hindi rin siya si Barbie. Sino yan? <laughs> Ang hirap naman noon. Clue, clue, clue. Ano ba? Mahilig siya sa food kesa may hawak na food. Parang andami naman pong mahilig sa food. Sino ba yun? Ha? Huh? Sino yun? Wait, wait, wait. Isa pa, isa pa, isa pa. Can I see it again? Can I see it again? Okay. See, okay, final guess. Marian Rivera. Yes. Yes! <laughs> kasi parang sa'yo kasi Rian, parang, parang hindi yan yung, yung panga ni Rian. <laughs> oh, eto, galing sa IG niya, nakatalikod. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Ha? Huh? <laughs> Parang ganun yung reaction ko sa lahat. Ha? Huh? Wait, isa pa po, isa pa po. Kala mo naman talaga? Hmm. Um. Call a friend! <laughs> Call a friend, help me! <laughs> Sino yan? Ba- may manonood, di ba sa... sa- nakalive po tayo, di ba? Hindi tayo nakalive. Um, Hindi tayo ano nakalive? To? Akala ko nakalive. Hingi. Baka kala ko sana... Kala ko makakuha ako ng mga clue. <laughs> um, siguro... Sino yun? Um... Ate Carla, wala. Hindi ko alam ko ano yung... Hindi <laughs> ko alam ko sino. Kahit nagbigay ka ng clue. Uh, mag-random na lang ako. Um, sino ba? Sa morning. Uh, parang tulog pa po kasi ako kapag ganun. <laughs> parang, <laughs> parang hindi pa po ako gising sa mga ganung time. Sino ba nag-uunang hirit? Wancho? Nagluluto ba si Wancho? <laughs> eh kasi unang hirit eh. <laughs> Alam mo si Wancho nag nagaano sa mga parang mga event uh, event. Oo. Opo, oo, oh, di mali ako. Di mali. <laughs> Sino? Sirit na po. Okay. Ba, nakaka-distract yung virtual background. Ay pak. Si Chef Jose. Ba yan? Kasi okay, et, dapat bigisin okay niya lang talaga ako para makanood ako ng unang hirit. Ito kilalang kilala mo kasi madalas post niya to. Yan to yung posting niya. May pag ano? Si... 
Si Ate Julie ba to or si Barbie? Kasi may may ganung may ganung post si Julie and San Jose. Doon sa Heartful Cafe, may pa ganun siya. Uh, grabe yung, sa dilaw na colors. Na, nakaka-stress yung yung parang hindi Titignan kayo mo ni Sir Richard kung parang magigive siya ng clue dun sa mga sinasabi kong pangalan. Pero para wala siyang binibigay sa akin na ano. Um, okay. Feeling ko si Barbie. Yes. <laughs> Fuck, ganun. Lagi naka-yellow dress kasi si Barbie eh. <laughs> Nadalas ko siya ma- makita na naka-yellow talaga. Then yes, next. Super bagay sa kanya. Napakahirap naman po nito. Pag mga lalaki, yan ang mga nakikita ko <laughs> sa IG <laughs> nila. Pag, pag guys, lahat naka-shirtless. <laughs> eh, yan ang nakikita ko sa mga IG nila. Eh. So, yun yung nakakapture. <laughs> Sino yan? Um... Shocks. Shocks. Who is that? Um Ang hirap naman. Sobrang hirap po. Uh, um Rojo char. <laughs> sure ka na ba? Sure na po 'yon, sige. Hindi. <laughs> Nakakat! Si David. Ay! Ano ko? Ano ba yan? Okay, okay. Mali. Ang layo. <laughs> Eto, sure na sure ka dito. Hindi mo hindi ka pwede magkamali Sure na dito. sure. Uh, okay po. Sige po. <laughs> Miss Jessica? <laughs> Naman! Naman! Yes! Eto. Hindi ka ba? Ito ta- line up. Oh my goodness. Parang namumukaan ko yung, yung ano eh, yung background. <laughs> Hindi ako sure. <laughs> um, si Kuya Betts? <laughs> Siya lang naman yan talaga. <laughs> Sabi ko na kasi, una ko nakita yung background. Kasi yun yung lagi yung background sa ano, ano, artist ng bayan. Tapos ito, ito mo ba yung tumahilig ito magpakita ng kilikili talaga. Lagi ako nagko-comment sa kilikili. <laughs> Ay, syempre, Limitless Star, Julie and San Jose. Galing yan sa free music video. Oh, alam na alam ko as a fan. <laughs> Ayun. So, nakailan ka kaya? Hindi <laughs> ko nabilang eh. Parang ano, parang fail po. <laughs> <laughs> parang hindi ko ako masa doon. Okay, move forward na tayo. So, let's talk about your music naman. Kasi you release a song na before. Yung, ang puso kong, ano to? Ang puso kong ito'y sa'yo. Sa'yo. Um, ito ba yung first song mo? Well, hindi ko po siya song. Uh, ano po, yan po yung uh, part ng official soundtrack ng First Yaya na I was blessed enough na ako po yung uh, na-ask to interpret the song. Ayan. So, uh, I believe it was sometime this 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 year ba? Na when I was asked. And sobrang, sobrang first time ko po kasi yun. Uh, aside from yung sa magpakailanman, first time ko po na yung ako lang kasi yung una duet kami ni Jeremiah. So, this was my first na ako lang yung kumakanta. And nung una ko pong narinig yung song, sobrang cute niya kasi, di ba? Sobrang ano lang niya, parang happy listening. And nakakatuwa naman po kasi maganda din yung yung reception ng tao dun sa kanta. And lagi siya sa akin rin request na, na pakantahin ko kapag nagsistream ako. And ayun. <laughs> kasi kahit pa paano, tumatak na rin naman kasi yung boses mo dun sa song. Ay, salamat po. Thank you so much. And ano na lang, weekly kita nakikita um, singing different songs. 
Siyempre, depende sa team. Pero ikaw ba, ano bang genre yung, genre yung pinakagusto mo? And yun talaga yung mas parang, mas okay ka as singer. Mm, ako po, siguro I'm, yung pinaka-favorite ko talaga is soul. Soul or medyo mga jazz. So I sing mga Natalie Cole, Ella Fitzgerald. Medyo old. <laughs> Pero ayun, I think yun yung mga pinaka-favorite ko talaga na types of ano, songs. Um, and hindi ka naging winner sa The Clash Season 2. Pero syempre, many believe that you are the next big thing. Probably why kinuha ka ng Jemmy RT Center, then part ka ng AOS, and syempre, hindi lang basta yun, nasa kingdom ka. Ikaw ba, anong pinangniniwalaan mo ngayon with the flow of your career? Uh, well, first po, I, I just, I, I recognize that I am so blessed uh, to have all of these opportunities and I'm so thankful to GMA Network, to Artist Center, and to The Clash, especially for, because they jump-started all of these things that I'm able to experience now. Uh, kung ano po yung pinaniniwalaan ko, I guess, I... I, I choose to believe that I am destined for great things. Uh, so what what I do about that is I just I just do my best in every opportunity that comes, and I also try to keep seeking out yung mga iba pang opportunity. And kung ano man yung dumating, I just try to do my very best with that. And pero ayon, I keep the I keep that goal in my mind na I am destined for for great things, and so I am working towards that. But how about your schooling? Because I've learned na sumali ka sa the class. Tapat talaga na dito sa Pilipinas. Apo. Um, to study. Um, tule ka parin ba with your studies? Yes, but I'm doing a uh, online school, so I'm fortunate enough na may mga online talaga na university ngayon. So that's what I'm doing. Because I I really want to try to finish school also for the peace of mind of my of my parents and also for myself then pa rin talaga. At saka, pa- paano mo siya ano, na pagsasabay ngayon? Uh, t- time management. Pero syempre po, minsan you have to kind of cut corners. Like, uh, sometimes you wanna do much better sa isang, pro- sa isang school project. Pero minsan kailangan mo it lang talaga yung kaya mo magawa given ng kung ano yung time constraints. Uh, so ayun, there's just a lot of sometimes sacrifices and priorities then na you have to uh, manage. Pero kaya naman po. Pero hindi ba ano, parang ah, sa bagay, sa iba ang um, school mo ngayon. Pero um, minsan ba may mga classmates ka na nagsasabi, uy, celebrity dyan, or ano, you're parang... <laughs> and, alam mo yun, iba yung siyempre expectation kasi celebrity ka rin. So, paano yung studies mo ngayon? Paano yung nagiging flow? Well, kasi po my school is based in the UK. So, yung mga kaklasiko is uh, ibang nationality. So, they don't really know what I'm doing. They don't really mind. <laughs> they don't really mind me. Minsan lang may mga get to know, get to know kami. Tapos, sinasabi ko na I like music and I... I I'm a singer, ganyan. So, minsan meron mga, oh, please sing for us, ganun, ganun. But, but there's really no parang starstruck moment kasi, kasi nga po, hindi, they, they don't really know, they're not really, they're not from the Philippines naman. So, I have a pretty normal, ano, <laughs> status in my schooling. And syempre, nagbabrowse din ako ng social media, no? Yes, And, po. Um, uh, How important is your voice? Not just in singing, uh, but also as a Filipino and as an artist. Well, I think that uh, I, I guess the the issue with with being a singer is parang ang minsan ang ang, ang pinaka important na lang na na organ is the vocal cords and the diaphragm. But I always think that. Uh, I'm a human and I have a brain and so my voice isn't just for singing it's also for for staying true to what I believe in it's also for fighting for my beliefs for what I stand for and so I think that uh, everyone has the right 
to speak their mind as long as they're not stepping on anyone's toes as long as they've done the research as long as they they are uh, are speaking from truth from facts ayun i think it's important that we because we have a like art people like me even though I'm, i'm definitely not as big as other artists but i do have a group of people that that do listen to me and who I have an influence over. So I try to be responsible about that. I recognize that that influence is a responsibility. And so, uh, but I don't let that stop me from from speaking my mind. I am quite an opinionated uh, person. So I think it is important. I think your voice is important. Anyone's voice is important. Mine, even if you're not an artist, like everyone. And I think we should... I think it's important that we that we voice that out. And aside from your music, what other things do you want to explore as an artist? Are you open best to acting or na try mo na? Uh, well, the only acting I've done is stage acting because I was in Ateneo Blue Repertory, so I did a little bit of theater Ooh. and opo. And also in back in high school, like we would have chamber theater, we we would have like. Uh, mga school events na may mga stage acting ganyan. So that's only what I've done. I, I haven't been part of any acting workshops or anything like that. Uh, but I definitely am, I'm open to everything. I, I, I always say that. I'm open to everything as long as I feel like I'm ready and I am capable. I will go for the opportunity because who knows when the opportunity will come again. At ngayon, syempre, na kahit papaano, tuwing-tuwing na nagbubukas yung mga industry, especially yung sa showbiz, thanks sa vaccine. Ano yung mga personal plans mo for 2021 na gusto mo pang matuloy? 2021? Ilang months pa rin? Two months? Yeah. I think I just hope to have like a, at least a day or a weekend with, with people I'm close to na, ano, Now, where we're not thinking of the pandemic, maybe I could go to the beach or something. And I would also love to have a family vacation because it's kind of a tradition for me and my family. And we haven't really done that because of the pandemic, because I'm away from them. So hopefully, I get to do that. And siguro lastly, kahit hindi this 2021, kahit mga next year, I hope to uh, have the chance to enter the theater world at one point or another. Ayun. I'm manifesting that. Kaya, kaya ko sinabi. Ayun na lang. Thank you, Thea, for your time. And promote mo na lang yung podcast mo and may mga upcoming pa ba kaming abangan from you? Uh, well, syempre po, uh, please keep on watching All Out Sundays. Linggo-linggo po yan. I will be back really, really soon. So I hope that you guys can come Uh, watch and support us and of course behind the song gma network's uh, newest podcast uh, we will launch later at 5 p.m mamaya na po yan, our first episode uh, with sb19's pablo and their producer simon servida uh, the new episodes will be launched every tuesday so next week meron ulit so sana po tuloy nyo po kaming abangan and syempre Uh, the Clash Season 4, can you believe it? Season 4 na uh, starting on October 2. So sana po ay, uh, you can also come back and watch and support the new breed of singers who are trying out their luck sa Clash Arena. Ayun po. And also hopefully you guys can follow me on my social media at Thea Astley everywhere. <laughs> Hello, Aurora Nation! I'm Thea Astley and you're watching Lionheart TV. Rawr. <laughs>